Hey guys, this is Steve here. Today we're going to go through legal problem 1557. Minimum number of vertices to reach all nodes. Let's take a look at the problem first. Given a directed acyclic graph deck with n vertices numbered from 0 to n minus 1 and an array address where address i is from i and to i, which means the first element of this 1D array is the starting vertex, and the second element of this 1D array is the destination vertex. Represents a direct edge from node from node from i to node to i. Okay, find the smallest set of vertices from which all nodes in the graph are reachable. It's guaranteed that a unique solution exists. Notice that you can return the vertices in any order. Let's take a look at the two examples here. The first one, n, e n equals to 6, which means there's a total of 6 vertices, and it starts from 0 all the way up to 5. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the edges, what these edges mean is 0, 1, which means 0 is the starting vertex, and 1 is the ending vertex. That's how it's marked. 0, 2, 0, 2. 4, 2, there must be a pair called 4, 2. Yes, 4, 2 is here. And then 3, 4, 3, 4 is here. And 2, 5, 2, 5 is here. So, and the output is, the output is 0, 3. Why is 0, 3? Because we need to start from 0 to visit 1 and 2, potentially 5 as well. And we also need to start from 3. Why? Because we need to visit 3 and 4 and 2, potentially 5 as well. So we can visit 2 and 5 starting from both 0 and 3, but we have to start both from 0 and 3 in order to visit 0, 1, and 0, 4, right? Because starting from 1, you cannot visit 4, and starting from 3, you cannot really visit 0 and 1, right? So this is the reason the output is 0 and 3. So if you notice some interesting things, that would be cool. But if you don't, that's totally fine. I'm, I'm talking about the solution. How do we approach this problem? If you don't, let's just walk through one more example, which is this one. Second example, n equals to 5, which means there is a total of 5 vertices from 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, from 0 to all the way to n minus 1. And all of these are the edges, 0, 1, 0, 1, is here. 3, 1, 3, 1 is here, 2, 1, 2, 1 is here, 1, 4, 1, 4 is here. 2, 4, 2, 4 is here. And the output is 0, 2, and 3. 0, 2, and 3. Why is that? That is because we need to start from 0 in order to visit 0. And we need to start from 2 in order to visit 2. Right? But we can start from like 3 or 0 or 2 to visit 2, to visit 4 or 1. Either one of those are all fine, right? But we have to start from all 0, 3, and 2. Because we need to visit 3, 0, 2 as well, right? That's why the output is 0, 2, and 3. So if you combine these two examples, you can notice that the output is all of those vertices that don't have any edges com coming into them. Does that make sense? Say all of these, 1, 2, 4, and 5. These four nodes, they all have... in they all have edges coming into them, right? You see this arrow, this arrow, this arrow, this arrow. All of these four arrows are coming into these four vertices. That's why these four nodes, they don't have an in degree that equals to zero, right? However, these two, zero and three, these two nodes, they don't have any incoming edges. Again, at the same, um, for, the, for the second example, 0, 2, and 3. These are the three vertices that don't have any incoming edges coming into these three nodes, right? But for these two nodes, they do. They have incoming nodes everywhere, right? So if you recall the, the other two problems that we described before, if you can just search in my channel. And also, I'll just put a link here. It's called cost schedule 1 and 2. Those two problems we went through, we used topological sorting algorithm to go through to solve those two problems in which we talked about there's a concept called in degree, which basically very simple term. Just we calculate how many edges are coming into this vertex, into this node. If the in degree equals to zero, then we can just add that one into the final result. And actually, th this 
problem is just asking us to return a list, a collection of integers that don't have any incoming address. All right, now let's just put the, this idea. So basically, we'll just go through the address and find which nodes don't have any incoming address. And then in the end, we'll just return that. So we'll put this idea into the actual code and let's take a look. So first, let me wider open this uh, wider. Okay, now we'll have a hash map y hash map the which is going to help us i'll call it in degree to help us keep track of how many vertices that have an in degree that equals to zero which means there are no incoming address into this vertices right and the key is going to be the node that has any incoming address and the value is just going to be the count how many incoming address we don't really need a a list or a set of integers to be the value of the hash map because we don't really care what those incoming edges are right we don't really care as long as this node has an in degree then it's not going to be part of the final result all right i hope that makes sense let me continue writing this code so first we'll go through this edge Address. So remember the very first one of this two of this two element smaller index is the starting point and the ending point is the second element. So what we want is the end, which is going to be the first element instead of the zero at index one, right? Then we're going to update the in degree. In degree put and and then we'll use in degree get all default get get this one and the default is going to be zero and we'll just increment it by one after this this in degree hash map has been constructed so next we'll initialize the final output which is result list and then there is another parameter in the given API signature, which is n, which means there is a total of n vertices in the given graph. And it's labeled from 0 all the way up to n minus 1. So we'll start from 0 all the way up to n minus 1. So we'll check if this in degree contains its key set contains this i. If that is the case, that means this is not a starting node. Then we don't add it into the final result. It, otherwise, we'll just add it. So in degree contains key i. If it doesn't contain this, that means this node doesn't have any in degree address, right? It's in degree equals to zero. So we'll just add it, result add i. And then in the end, we'll just return result. In this way, it's also will, it will also give us the result in the in sorted ascending order because we start from zero, go all the way up to n minus one. Now let me hit run code to see if it's going to work. All right, accept it. Now let me hit submit to see if it's going to be accepted. Hmm, takes a long time. All right, it's also accepted. Cool. So this is the way to. Like this is a pretty straightforward way to solve this problem. We basically keep track of all of the in degree nodes. If there is any node that doesn't have any in degree, so we have to put add that one into the final output, which is going to give us the minimum number of vertices to reach all nodes. I hope this video makes sense. And also, again, feel free to check out those two videos that I made, cost schedule one and two, which is I would say more complex, definitely more, more complex than this one. So hopefully if you go through that one, this one will be, will be very straightforward. So if this video helps you make sense of this problem, then please do me a favor and hit the like button. That's going to help me out tremendously and help with the YouTube algorithm as well. I really appreciate it. And also, I've made quite a lot of lead code tutorials, data structure and algorithm videos, and also about Amazon Web Services, how you can prepare it to pass those AWS certification exams. Feel free to check them out. So hopefully I'll just see you guys in a few short seconds. Thanks very much for watching. See you guys in the next one.